that. How are you, Pete? <laughs> we're good. We uh, just played nine holes. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just this YouTube thing, isn't it, where we've got to pretend like we've not it's seen fine. each other we're gonna for go like with the it. last three hours. Okay, so, question time. Okay. First of all, you're massive on YouTube. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone knows who you are, everyone uh, loves you. I'm, I'm middling. How did it all start? Um, just as a way to make money. <laughs> okay, um, simple. Because... So I was coaching at a driving range in Manchester and I hated going out kind of onto the range and talking to people. Yeah. I'm pretty antisocial really. But what I wanted to do was expose myself as a coach um, in a way which hadn't been done before. Mm -hmm. So like starting to make videos on YouTube, I'd seen it happen a little bit as well. Actually making coaching videos was encouraging people to actually come in for lessons. Okay. So it just purely started as a way to try and get more clients in. Um, and that was, yeah, just over 10 years ago now and it's blossomed into How long it's been? something completely different, yeah. And so you started with the coaching videos and then I it started just with went the coaching there. videos and it just went from there. And then what made you change like topics and start collaborating and all of that stuff? Um, I, I think it was me and, me and Rick did a course vlog. I think it was at Mir, I think. It was just a random nine hole match and that video got more views than like some of the coaching ones that i was doing yeah so it, it kind of made me it made me think a bit it made me realize a little bit that and it probably took me longer than it should have but yeah. it kind of made me realize that people aren't going on youtube just to have uh, advice right you know okay. they're also going on youtube for entertainment yeah and it kind of it baffled me really it kind of it broke my brain a little bit that people would be interested to watch like normal PJ pros actually go around the golf course commentating on shots. Yeah. It would it really kind of it dawned on me then that actually this was something other than just a way to kind of get lessons in and obviously it's gone completely full circle now where I don't give any lessons and I'm just making videos. So Do you miss it? Um I do and it's it's something which I reckon I'd probably go back to. Right. Um because with with coaching and with lessons like the the more experience you get the better you're going to become um right, okay. but with coaching as well like you've got to be doing it consistently yeah. I, I can still give lessons uh, through my swing quest channel uh, yeah. which is a just coaching videos but to actually be a good one-to-one -one coach you have to be doing it consistently it's the same as anything like you know you, you can be you can make videos on anything but if it's like based on coaching Mm. then you need to be doing it consistently to actually to actually be very good at it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes Sorry, sense. Sorry, I just a bit, of a, <laughs> rant, bit of a rant there. Sorry. Um, did you ever think you were going to get on tour at all? I think I think everybody... <laughs> like for the best. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think everyone when they're a junior, like that's yeah. what they maybe want to do. So when I was like playing as a kid, yeah, the dream was to, to make it um, on tour, but... I think it became apparent pretty quickly, really, that there's a lot of good players out there, mm. um, and I'm I'm happy doing what I'm doing now. Like I've, having been out working on tour, like whether it be TV, whether it be like making our own videos, you know, yeah, being amongst these guys. Yeah. The level that they play at is just it is completely stupid. Isn't it? It's completely <laughs> stupid. Like, I don't know how they do it. People, I think people know, and I think people understand that. Um, like guys who play on tour, DP World PJ, Live, whatever. Yeah. Like they know they're good, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I don't quite think sometimes people appreciate just how good they are. Mm. Like Bad. they are in a, they are so completely different mm. than than your average, you know, plus scratch handicapper. It's it's wild. And also, like to be honest, it's a bit of a. I mean, it, it's a bit of a weird life, like being on tour. <laughs> yeah, like you've got to, you've got to be a certain type of person to kind of thrive and enjoy it. And I, I don't really think I'd I'd be that person anyway. No. So it's, it's kind of fortunate I'm crap at golfing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, okay. So word of advice for myself. Obviously, I've just started a few months in. Yeah, yeah. We've just filmed. Give me some tips. Any word of advice to what we've just done? I think I'm good. Am I okay? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, <laughs> you, but, but you, like, when was the first time we did a video together? Like two, three years ago? Probably longer than that. It was a while ago. It was about four years ago now. Yeah, it was a long time ago. So, yeah, you've, you've kind of got some experience with it. But yeah. to be honest, 
I, it's hard to give advice because the only way of the only way that I know to do it, yeah. and this is what I think some people get a little bit stuck on, mm. is you've just got to make content, you've got to make videos, you've got to put it out there and see what you like doing, see what yeah. people like watching. Because I think a lot of people get stuck with, you know, I, I get messages all the time from people saying, you know, oh, I'm thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. It's like, yeah, fine, cool, yeah, great, yeah. do it. Like, just start making videos because... But that's the problem, it's like I delayed it so much, I just didn't have the time to do it. it. And YouTube's so big and yeah. like the whole social media space outside of YouTube, Yeah, it's so big now that there's there's not a bad time to start. you just got to have a niche though, right? Yeah, you got to have a niche I, I think, and just be quirky with it. I think you've got to... But you'll only really discover that mm. as you start to make videos. Yeah. Like you'll you'll start making stuff and like you'll you'll start to enjoy certain types of content. You'll lean into that a little bit more. People will enjoy it. Yeah. Because that's what that's what most people are looking for. Yes, they're looking to watch videos that they enjoy. But if you're enjoying them as well, yeah, like that really does come across. And I think I think people make their own niches as well. Yeah. Like if you'd have thought three years ago, for example, that there would be effectively a boy band of golfers who came out of the States. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't really have crossed your mind, but that's yeah. what's happening with Good Good. Like, if, yeah. if you'd have thought that, Crazy. you know, if you think of um, probably Rick, Rick Shields is a, a great example, really. Yeah. You know, just a standard PGA coach who kind of just started making videos, started, we just couldn't remember the link. We are, yeah. Um, started, like, pumping out these videos. And now he's got the biggest kind of YouTube channel in the world. There's obviously a lot of yeah. a lot of steps in between those things happening, but yeah. you know, you've just got to make content. You've got to start creating, and you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Um, biggest achievement so far to date since you started your journey as a PGA coach and as a YouTube sensation <laughs> that you are. Shut up. Big you up. Shut up. Um, I think. I think there's a few things. Um, for me, something which I find like really cool is mm. that like now I've got um, kind of five people working for me. Yeah. So I've, man nice. I've managed to actually like make some kind of business out of it, and that, and that was never the intention kind of when it all started. And it's never something which I thought I'd be able to do. Yeah. So from like a personal standpoint, I think that, that's really big for me, and yeah. like. We've just taken on somebody else, so like the whole thing's growing, and we're doing different things. So, so for me, that's like you never thought you'd be in that. No, in no life. way, it's no, madness, isn't it? no way at all. Because I, I am like the most disorganised person in the world. So to actually be able to kind of do something which involves a team and which involves different people, yeah, like that's a huge deal for me. Like all other people might think who like, own businesses and who work with yeah. the people might think that's, uh, that's fine, it's just kind of what it is, but yeah, if for you me, never thought you'd have that. Oh, honestly, it's massive. Right, opportunity. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, worst experience then? Well, there must be a few. Worst experience? Have you ever been somewhere, been invited to somewhere and it's gone absolutely awful? Just <laughs> like, complete, oh. complete shambles. I'm just trying to think. Um, Probably a few times. I'll as that question kind of turns over in the back of my mind. I'll, <laughs> I'll have a bit of a think, but probably overlay that with a veneer of actually, like what I do is and what we do now we is <laughs> is so good and we're so fortunate to do it. There really any bad experiences that you have. Yeah. It's it's not as bad of an experience as what you could be doing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm quite lucky, really. I think in some respects, that I've had other jobs before this. Yeah. So obviously, I was a PJ Pro um, before that. I was a, a journalist. I was a journalist for like never knew that two years. Yeah, full time news cool. newspaper journalist, and that was by far like the most stressful, like horrific thing mm. that I ever did. But I think it made me appreciate really kind of what we do now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there, there are points where it's a bit stressful. There's times where you lose footage. There's times where you might turn mics up. Mics don't work because it's happened plenty of times. Mics don't work, like <laughs> files corrupt, edits go wrong. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of little things that do happen, but yeah. I think in general, like the, the stresses that kind of have in this job, they are nothing compared to 
um, what other people have to go through. It's a little bit different yeah. now. Like I'm, I've got people employed. Yeah. Uh, because the stakes are so much higher. Yeah. Like if I if I did a video and you know when I was working on my own it didn't quite work or something went wrong, it's fine. I just go out and make another one. And, yeah. But now it's it's so much more of a business, and you need to make sure that you've got. Um, kind of cash coming in to cover wages and you need to make things, sure things are growing that's more stressful well, that's more like a proper business yeah um, but then even that like within this world within this kind of sphere that we work in at the end of it, it's just golf yeah I know you know what I mean it's just it is just Crazy. golf okay um, so if you weren't doing what you were doing would you be doing journalism or would you be doing something else no what's your dream job um, I what think you, what you're doing yeah, I think so. I mean, really? it, it was it wasn't ever intended as that though. So, yeah. like when I I was always more into I, I hated school, so <laughs> I was always I just wanted to be outside. I just wanted to be playing football, yeah, and then I wanted to be playing golf. I, I, I didn't. I knew very very early on hmm. that I didn't want to be like stuck in an office. Like I was yeah. certain of that. So, I think when I started playing golf and I started getting okay, I knew I wanted to do the PGA because even if I didn't make it as a player. I knew that being a golf coach mm. would be preferable to like yeah. pretty much anything else. I wanted to give journalism a go because I did start writing articles when I was coaching. Yeah. And they seemed to go down pretty well and I do enjoy that kind of process. Um, and yeah, if I had any kind of talent, being a writer would be great. But nice. yeah, I think, I think this for me, I've managed to fall into something that I really, really enjoy. And I'm not completely horrendous at. So if this, if those two things kind right. of ever coincide, then oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Um, and in ten years' time, where do you see yourself? Retired. <laughs> Retired. I mean, ho hopefully alive. <laughs> yeah. That, Pray I, to God. Yeah, I think that's the first step. Um, do you think you'll just continue this until you're like sixty? To be honest, to be honest, I really don't know because I think with with golf especially like if you're doing like coaching videos and you're doing information based videos mm. I don't think actually age is a, a barrier now because you can gain more experience you know what you're talking about yeah um, and like I said it is it is something that I really do enjoy doing the whole process of it yeah so I mean I can I can see myself still doing something like this but if I think about what I started to do, like when I was just going after lessons and what I'm doing now, mm. it's so it's so different. Yeah. Than like in ten years' time, I don't I don't know change, what that would look like. It's gonna be like I've absolutely no idea, and I've started too late. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be axed already. <laughs> honestly, like you just don't know, just don't know where it's gonna go. Because like let's say, because I've started to do like more TV stuff, I've started yeah. to do more presenting. You know, after a bit of time, is that something I want to do more of? I obviously know a lot more about like video production. Like, mm. could we make a company um, doing that? Um, you know, could we be hosting our own golf events? Could we do uh, like a travel company for golf? Like, getting people away. Could go back into doing coaching. Could have different yeah. schools. You have options. I've, I've, there's there's so much like the Useless. there's so much that's available now as well. And obviously, it's a uh, it's lucky that I'm in a position where. If I did pivot and I did want to do something different, yeah, I'm in a I'm in a decent place where I could tell people and let them know. Yeah. Like one of the hardest things about doing this and starting is that the first videos that you do, you're kind of like you're speaking to nobody really because like the audience mm. isn't there yet. Yeah. And uh, you know, I remember pretty clearly like putting out those first videos and like you know. You spend a day filming it and like a day editing it, like the first ones where you're trying to pick everything out, and you know, like 20 people watch it and they're all you, yeah, like just replaying it. And you're like, Oh, god, get me some money, come on, yeah, you're like, Oh my god, this is terrible, like, yeah. what, what have I done? Um, oh god, so it's like it is true, it is yeah. like it's frustrating, isn't it? It is, but also with golf as well now, and you know, I'll, I'll give myself a little bit of credit. You know, one of the one of the OGs of I've told I've been told that so many times recently. I went over to the States the and OGs. like honestly, like <laughs> meeting all like the like playing with the good good guys yeah. and like filming with like some of the the younger creators now. It's like, oh yeah, Pete, you're an OG. <laughs> it's like, oh thanks. I think 
<laughs> what does that mean? It's, <laughs> Sorry. It's basically like yeah, like the original. original yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh god. So like when we started, like we really had absolutely no idea what we were doing. Like yeah. zero idea of like what it was going to become, what it was, and now the there's so many more creators doing lots of different things this mm. this golfing niche which was so small and it was so uh, restricted to really only like maybe 10 12 people like yeah. when i started it's now there's hundreds of creators yeah hundreds and like there's more coming every day and the golf niche is massive on youtube yeah. compared to some other sports so i think it's in a really good place and the advantage is it's a lot easier like when I started, to get to 10,000 subscribers was really hard. Mm. Really hard. If somebody starts now and does good stuff, they can get to 10,000 subscribers very quickly. Because yeah. the audience is already there, it's already prepared. Yeah. Like there's millions of golfers who watch on YouTube now. So like if you get going and you get like a niche and like say you get, you get the videos to a certain quality, people will watch and people will subscribe yeah. so you can grow the audience very quickly. Okay, quick fire questions. Okay, I'll try my Let's best. Let's get in the fave Favourite collab to date? Mm, probably Colin Montgomery. Okay. Uh, it was only a short one, um, but he was like one of my heroes growing up. So to actually meet really? him, play with him, and yeah, that was fantastic. Okay. Uh, Favourite course played? Um, uh, Royal Aberdeen. Biggest ick? Biggest ick? Could be golf ick or like partner ick, <laughs> anything oh, that people God. do. Biggest ick. Um, I, I really don't like people who smell bad. I don't, because I smell really bad at the moment. I have um, insect repellent on. It's strong, isn't it? Um, no, no comment. <laughs> it's really bad. No, like, I tried to spray loads of spray on me before I came one, out. One of my teachers back in school, yeah. um, he, like, he, he smoked and he drank coffee and he, like, I don't think he looked after himself particularly well. Yeah. Um, and like I used to hate going into his classes because he stank. It's probably why I kind of didn't like school. And that's always like left me with a, like I'll, I'll, I can't like, I will not be able to leave the house like if I don't have a shower. <laughs> like I find it really difficult. That's the, that's the only kind of weird thing I've got, I think. Okay, um, worst fear? Um, worst fear? Uh, um, no, what worst fear? I don't know, don't really think about it. Worst fear? I don't think it's dying. Okay, that's not morbid at all. Yeah, no, I think I'm all right with that. <laughs> okay. Like, I didn't think I'd make it this far. Why? I just didn't. <laughs> what? I've, 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 lived a, I've, I've lived a pretty rough life. Okay. Uh, when I was, you know, when I was kind of growing up, I did some very stupid things, put myself in some situations where I would, where I could have gone easily uh, uh, Overboard. <laughs> six, six foot in the wrong direction. Okay. So yeah, I'm happy to have made it this still here, guys. <laughs> like, what I'm hoping for is if I make, if I get now to 60, I think that's epic. I think I'd have done so well. Okay, I'll congratulate you then. Um, oh, don't count my chickens too. Yeah, <laughs> favorite golfer? Um, favorite golfer? Uh, well, it's just Tiger. Yeah, sorry. I was, I was, Tiger, yeah. yeah I, I was almost like I was, I was thinking about Tiger, that. okay. I, I, I was very much of the Tiger generation, so. Long form vid or short form videos? Oh, sheesh. I, I'd like to create long form, yeah. Okay. Long, long form is much more fun and immersive, but I must admit, like, recently I've been doing a lot more, engaging a lot more with short form stuff from other people. Okay. I think it's just like a time sensitive thing, isn't it? Yeah. But, because there's like so many like sorry, it's <laughs> quick quick fire. Sorry. Favorite sandwich filling. Uh, it's a random one. <laughs> what else have we got? So, oh, just to be honest, like can I just have like bacon? Can I just have a bacon sandwich? No. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm telling all my cheese and ham and toasty. I need to go off beat on this one. Right. Okay. Go on. So Here I went. We veg I went vegetarian for four years. Four. Yeah. Did you miss it? Veggie. No, no, no. I just thought it'd be a good idea. Okay. And then. I went like vegan for like six months just to see what it was like. Yeah, I did that for a week. Ah, oh, yes, it's so hard. Sad. And then I fell off the wagon. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you where I'm going with this. Okay. When you've not eaten meat <laughs> for that long, mm. the simplest things yeah. are amazing. Okay. And I remember so clearly like having a cheese and ham toasty. 
So that's why you love choosing home posting. You have no idea. Okay. It, it, everyone, if you're still watching this nonsense. If you're still watching, yeah, <laughs> they're all tuned off now. <laughs> if if like if you have the courage and you have the perseverance to go veggie for like or vegan for six months, say, when you start eating like meat again mm. and cheese, oh, honestly, it's it's you. It's life changing again. Okay, we're going to move on um, to would you rather questions. Okay. Play around with Tiger Woods or Jack Nicholas? Uh, Tiger. Play in the Ryder Cup or the Masters? Ryder Cup. Make a six foot putt downhill or hit a fairway for one million pounds? Fairway. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You rate yourself. So, especially, that. especially with that driver. Yeah. Okay, yeah. would you rather top drives for the rest of your life? But they land on the fairway. Right. Or fat every chip, but it's still on the green. Oh, God. What would look better? Um, <laughs> well, that's such a random question. Where'd you come yeah. up with that from? I don't know. Um, I'll go with uh, top every drive. Yeah? That's the most random question I've ever, <laughs> I've ever like seen it? in my life. <laughs> okay. Um, and Liv's Vault. Have you seen Room 101? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to banish from golf in general? <laughs> the one thing... Go on. And the one thing in the world, in general. In general? So I need in golf and I need outside like life. Oh, God. Um, so in golf, probably... I, 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 well, I'd say dress codes, because yeah. they're just sh stupid and outdated. <laughs> but if I'm being very specific today, like if I could get rid of the 18th hole, on the earth course. Oh. <laughs> uh, Javara Golf Estates. What a travesty of a golf hole. It like. is tricky. Absolutely tricky. If you haven't seen it, it's Shocking. got like, what is it, water all the way through the middle. It's got a straight, right, so my big pet peeve with golf courses Go on. is when they put a hazard in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. And that has a frigging stream running all the way up the middle of the fairway to the green. It's just zigzag. It's Either just, side it's, of it. it's shocking. Honestly, I don't know what Greg Norman was smoking when they designed that. Don't. Okay, absolutely and in, disgrace. The, in the world, the one your pet peeve that you want to get rid of and banish in the whole world? Um, I don't know how, how 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 serious the people get with this. Serious. Serious. Yeah. Okay. So like I could ban say. Could I could I ban like third world hunger, or like war? Okay. Could, I, could I could I could I go that could yeah, I go that's that deep? Like that's just like. Yeah, everyone's going to say that though, aren't they? Well, I don't know, that's oh, what I'm yeah, asking. Do, yeah. do people say that? Oh, yeah, people say that. Right, okay. Well, I think that's a pretty noble thing to do. Yeah. Right? All right, we'll stick with that then. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see. I mean, the world's a big place. True. But is there anything you just think, like, just get rid of? I can't be asked anymore. Just go. Um, swimming. Why? I, I may not share with you my, my theory of the ocean. No. So my theory of the ocean is that our ancestors, obviously, you know, hundreds of millions of years ago, right. they left the oceans and crawled onto land because they knew that, like, the seas were just terrible places. Okay. They obviously decided that this is just crap. <laughs> I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go on land. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think that we should leave the oceans alone Yes. And just stick to what our ancestors believed in. Okay. Thanks for that. It's alright, no problem. Very insightful. <laughs>